The rules have changed, gentlemen. We have to work five times as hard as our grandfathers did to get women that are 20 times worse than our grandmothers. We're all working two jobs and creating side hustles and to top it all off, none of us are happy, but that's all about to change. You know, one of the things on top of that, brother, is, is um, none of us are happy, why? Because we're missing the camaraderie. A lot of guys were working so hard, right? I remember when I was young, I was working mad hours, but now it's even more relevant because a lot of people were so isolated, especially with this COVID thing kind of jacked us yeah. all up. I should I say COVID? I don't know what's legal now, whatever you say. It. We'll move it out. We'll move well, it out or something. Beep, but no, whatever. So a lot of people have been even more isolated. So a lot of men don't have ideas to bounce sufferings, pains, triumphs. And, and ideas, you know, you know what's one of the things too? Next if you watch any movie of like a cool dude, like Batman, 007, fucking John Wick, all these movies where like there's like a cool male, they're always a a, a, a one guy. It's always it's alone. bullshit. It's always alone. That's not that's how it works, bro. That's just not that, real. Bro. That's not real. No, no, you have to have a group of people. You know what's the best fucking movie? You the face, bro. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. No, no. Seriously, you know what's the best movie? Ocean's Eleven, bro. That is legit. That, bro. I love that movie, that's bro. Legit. You got eleven motherfuckers. They're going. They're gonna go knock down three of the biggest uh, Las Vegas hotels. But it's eleven of them, and they all got their own special skills. They're all, you know what I mean? Everyone's Why playing their part. This? Why do we talk about this? Because we're going to be your boys. You know, you guys are driving. You guys are chilling at home. Why don't this is to some regular old dudes, you know? Just talk about some I'm bullshit. Not old, I'm not old. He's old. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah. Correct, right? But you want to talk about hang out with some cool dudes, just listen to some guys chant, riff, talk some shit about real life? We're here. We're going to do that because we're just regular old boys like you guys. Young and old. That's what we are, right? Welcome to the Old and New Money Podcast. So we're, here, we're going to talk about a little, a little bit of some crazy shit that's going on. So every now and then I throw some like videos to my friend on Instagram. Some of my friends, they're like, I've never seen that before. I've never seen that before. It's like, do people really not see these things? Or what's going on? Do people still believe, like what you talked about at the beginning, do people really believe that these women are angels? Now, I love women, right? I love women. Oh, I'm a romantic, bro. Yeah, big time. I love my women. But some of these women, we got to recognize that they're a bunch of whores, right? And the thing is, these whores get around often. And we kind of run into them often. And so, for example, let me ask you this question. Why is there women out there that have four or five babies from four or five different dudes? Because they're whores. Because they're whores. But these stories are all attached to this one woman. Yeah. These five guys are attached to these one woman that locked them down. True, the guys made a mistake and then bust in their face. They're bad, right? But at the same time... We got to understand not all women are bad. We just got to understand the game and recognize who they are and stay away from them. That's one of the things we want to talk about here because we all think, you know, our generation, you know, my generation, we kind of, <laughs> <our> generation, <laughs> I was born in 91, bro. <laughs> yeah. Our generation kind of likes to think that our women are like our moms. Like I had. Yeah. No, no, no that's cool. gone. That's gone. Correct. Bro, but, my, my mom and my grandma, they're saints. But let's and all brainwash that. the people. When you say brainwash, you're right. Let's brainwash no. the men to thinking that generation is gone. That's, For example, how many tias did you have? How many aunts do you have? Uh, What do you mean? How many aunts did you have? Your mom had how many aunts or cousins? I hope. You care. mean like sisters and brothers? Like, For example, yeah. Like oh, she had one sister. Oh, no, 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 my bad. She had like four. Well, my grandfathers were fucking dogs, bro. They were getting, they were out there doing that work. Well, we're comparing, I mean? oh, yeah, for sure. My uncle's too. What I'm talking about is the women. For example, the, my mom had five brothers. Oh, my grandmother, my grandma, my grandma, my grandmother had three kids. Three kids, okay. Yeah. So my grandparents, my mom has four sisters and five brothers. Huh. So I was raised thinking all women, all Mexican women were like my aunts. With the same, and my mom. With the same dude? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 So I was thinking, all the women are good. Because all my moms and my mom's sisters, they all work together as a team. And they took care of us. Even when we messed up, yeah. they were nice to us. Yeah. And so I'm Come thinking the whole time, correct, that smack us, whatever, whatever. No, it was all good. It was, you know, <laughs> yeah, it was normal. Is. And so, so when I was raised, when I was older, I thought, oh, all women are like this. Right. Mm-mm. They're not like that. That generation is gone. So we're going to try to put you on some game. We're not big old pimps because we're not, right? But I'm, I'm a romantic lady, just so you know. I like to bring roses. You know, I like to fall in love and shit. Fucking simp. <laughs> anyway, we're going to put you on some games. Just recognize some stuff. <laughs> we're going to give you examples, some videos. We're going to give you a lot of stories of our friends. Because we meet up with our friends often. We talk. We go to dinner and lunch like twice a week with our friends. Yeah. And we all just share ideas. Sometimes they're like, what? What's the most that we've had of our friends? Like uh, in San Francisco. What's the most that we've had? Like, in and they're intimate friends. Friends that we know their stories. Yeah. Uh, I'm talking about like 30 friends. Yeah. Our average meeting is like what? 
seven people to a dozen. And all those guys, we're just talking about what's going on. So when we tell you our stories, it might not be our extra story that we live, but I'll tell you about my boy's story, and this is what happened to him. And we're going to break these stories down so you kind of take a lesson about what we're trying to do. Isn't that correct? Like that, that, I mean, it is what it is, man, because a lot of guys don't really know. You know, and it's crazy to me because, you know, like, you're gamed up, I'm gamed up, I understand this, and I've had enough experience with women that when I meet them, I can kind of tell off the bat, you know what I'm saying? Like, once I start talking to them and getting to know them, if I meet them at a club or at the fucking, at a cafe or, um, or at, you know... Your at, favorite at, spot. At a subway. Your yeah, spot. yeah, yeah, you yeah. Pedro, Pedro's back there. Yeah, yeah. Pedro knows what's <laughs> up. Shout out to Voyager. Um... <laughs> No, but, but like if I start, to, if I meet the girl and then just off of her, like I'll just, I'll check her Instagram and just off of the way we're talking, just the way the vibe she gets off, I can kind of tell like, all right, I already kind of know what, how the way this girl thinks, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, but I realized, yeah, but you have that skill, no, you no, have that experience. I, I only recently realized that not every guy has that Correct. knowing, you know? And I, and I, I kind of assume that it's just kind of like an instinct thing, but that's something because I, I think back, I had to develop it because I didn't know that a couple of years or ago. Or even right? our friends that we, that we meet up with and go to dinner and go to clubs and go to cigars and go, you know, have drinks and talk. We think they have game. Yeah. But they don't really have game. And these are badass men. They yeah. Have which careers, is, have their house, they have a cool right. car, they have their education, they dress well, you know. And and yeah. And, and they sometimes they're just lacking in that. Look. Everyone's lacking something. Of course, so, right? of course. And what's, but what's crazy too is, again, we live in the Silicon Valley and there's a lot of what you would consider men of high value, right? There's a lot of guys here that are making well over, you know, a hundred, two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars. But that's not the only but thing. But they're getting. Well, so no, that's not the only thing about making high value. A lot of you men think that well, just because you make this money, you're high value. Right. And but but I even see them. Like I'll never forget this story, bro. So I got super involved in crypto, right? Uh -huh. And then one time I got inv invited to. He's judge. a crypto genius, bro. So if you guys got some questions about crypto, yeah, hit him up. His Instagram too. Give me your money, bro. Just give it to me. I got you. <laughs> don't don't worry. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll multiply it in my wallet. You know, hit me up later. Yep. Um, no, so I I, I did uh, I was judging a hackathon, right? Uh huh. And when I was uh, doing that, like there was this one guy who was competing and he got pretty high up. He got like third place, you know, and I was one of the people that I'm, I'm handing out awards or whatever. I don't know shit about the technicals. I don't know anything technical. Yeah. I was just judging. Right. I don't know why. Um, Your good looks. Uh, maybe. But uh, so but what I noticed is like when everyone's celebrating, you know, I got my glass of wine. I'm talking to all the contestants. I'm, you know, shaking their hands or whatever. Um, that guy, he was just like. You know, this skinny white guy, but he was really smart, this guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? And he had like a hoodie and like um his he had this girlfriend, this Asian girlfriend, smaller than him, okay? And he was a small guy, right? She's smaller than him. And I could just tell she was like berating him, telling him everything he did wrong and what he needs to do better on the next Ugh. one. And I'm like, Ugh. dude, what the fuck? And this is the you crazy need, part. You need some friends. No, bro, this is the crazy part. Everyone that was participating in that hackathon had a team. There was like a team of like between two to five to seven people. Okay. This dude did his project by himself. Savage. The girl didn't even help him. Savage. He got to third place, and she's over here like on his ass, and you could just see him listening. Breaking and down. It's, he just didn't know. He up. just didn't know what to do. He wasn't shriveling up, but you could just tell that he was used to it. This is how their dynamic was. But I just looked at it, and I was just like, I just looked at him like, bro, like you, you could do way better. Like you could tell that bitch right then and there, like. Who the fuck? Get the fuck out of here. You're done. You're yeah, done. Right away. You know, like she, that girl has never been told that. Like, yeah, you're not, you're not at that caliber that you can talk to me that way. Like, get the fuck out of here, bitch. Because. And, and what is this? And, and recognize this, guys. Get this in your head. What you're saying, okay, is something so simple. Anyone can take this into your life and just understand what do women bring to the table? What did that girl bring to the table for that guy? Pussy. That's it. And she didn't even she, have titties, bro. Oh, was she was she was as flat as this motherfucking table. Say, they say, had no yo, she was an Asian girl. She ain't had no I ass. Say, I was about to say she got no ass. She ain't got no ass, ass, ass and she got two mosquito bites. Damn. Okay? Two mosquito bites and she ain't even that pretty. That but, she, right she, but she had some pussy. But the power of that, because men don't have the abundance to be able to even communicate with women. Because it's not about Pounding pussy is about you know, a nice conversation. Uh, sure, we enjoy the pounding and that, and then you know. Oh like yeah. This, but the whole thing about the whole woman is enjoying the whole experience. 
right. the conversations, the lab with people, that or as far as making her feel happy. Right. We, right. we enjoy both of that, right? We enjoy making oh, no, them happy I, I, conversations. Oh, I love the way they going smell. To the gym. Yeah, I like the way their voices but sound and people shit. People put too much emphasis on, on the vag. Yeah, well, but and that's what the guy had because he's never had. It. He never had. That it. Is he struggled getting pussy. So when he finally got one, and I could only imagine, like, I could imagine this guy was out at the bar one night with his <clears> nerdy <throat> friends, and this girl saw him, and she probably walked up to him and started talking to him, and then his head is like, "Oh my god, this girl likes me," and she's just a power Stuck. hungry fucking Stuck right there demon fucking bitch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You know, and then now she just has her claws in him in his soul. That's now, you know what that is? It wasn't at the club. That dude don't go to the club. I think he's going to be around savages like me and you, be able to fucking act up. Get oh, bro, that's San Francisco, dog. Nah. San Francisco. Look, there, there's a bunch of let's, weirdos let's, out let's there. Let's go bro. with a different story, bro. Let's make up a different story. Right. Zuckerberg. How does Zuckerberg get caught up at school by that fucking little Asian girl? Hey, but Zuckerberg's kind of a savage, dog. Now he's trained jiu-jitsu. Congratulations, Zuck. We're happy for you because he's trained jiu-jitsu, trained martial arts. Fantastic. Every man should be trained some type of punch a motherfucker in the face skill. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's another no, 100%. thing that people Easy. are missing out no, on. No, no, yeah, yeah. You need to learn how to fight, bro. Yeah. Like, you need to learn how to... It's not as hard as you think. Mm -mm. Like, it's really not. You you just learn some technique. But, I mean... And if... You know what's crazy? If you do that, if you put yourself in a position where you're learning how to fight, you automatically, like, rank up in society right like, away. quick, dog. Like, it's crazy. Like, our boys get down, right? Yeah. Our boys get down. Yeah, and bro. Then, and just sitting at the table or standing around... Just because you know how to fight, where well, there's ranking amongst us. Yeah. You know, ranking. You bro, know, there is, bro. No, no and, matter how you see it, I'm like, hey, it, cut it's, it. It's because it's a confidence thing. Correct. You just know. You're like, even if you know you're going to lose the fight, you know, like, oh, I'm getting licks in. You know what yeah. I mean? And like, just that mentality kind of changes the way a person walks. Because they're not going to die. Yeah, exactly. You're not gonna die. And that's the other thing. When you, when you train a martial art, you got to get punched. You got to get hit at some point. Yeah. You learn where it's like, oh, shit, that ain't that bad. I can survive yeah. that. Right. You know, whereas, like, if, if you never train to fight ever, like, you dread getting hit. Like, bro, it's like, oh. I, I, I spar, semi-train with this with this brother. This guy weighs heavier than me. Was he black? Yeah. Yeah, oh, black dude. Brother. Right. brother. He was, like, big like me, but muscular, bro. Yeah. Like, I'm, like, you know, gracesito. I gotta eat a lot of tacos and shit. Yeah. But this guy was, like, boom. And yeah. I like train with him because he fucking cracks. I messed up this one time. I was, like, swing hard. We were swinging hard. Round that kicks to the head. I was blocking and everything, right? Because they were fucking practicing. Yeah. There's one time, I don't know, I must have spaced out and I dropped it right here. This motherfucker cracked me with everything. His face was in shock. And then Jay saw like a few stars and I was like, what? He was like, I hit you with everything. And I was like, yeah, but I got a chin. Yeah, you're and, Mexican. Because I'm Mexican, yeah, correct. I was about to say, bro. bro it's that legit. amazed y'all, bro. bro. Fight that we saw on Saturday, bro. Yeah, yeah. That fight that we saw on Saturday. Bro, we'll that tell that you about this fucking right now. But what I'm saying is, we can take hits and people think it's horrible. Yeah. Like, this dude cracked it with everything. He's a strong guy. Like, it's like muscle, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he cracked it with everything. Black dude from the hood. Yeah, yeah. From the hood. Yeah, he's a nice guy now. He's like, like us, right? From hood, but now yeah. he's nice. Yeah. He's civil, right? Like us. Got cracked in the head, and I just fucking, I felt the power, right? But I was like, okay. You shake it off. Shake it off. Yeah. It's not that bad. Tell me about these fucking dudes, the Mexican dude on the fights. Oh, like, my this, God. This brother was shredded. He was licked. Oh, bro, oh, there oh, was oh, this first dude. round. Yeah, there's this dude, and he was this Mexican cat, and he was getting his. It was a three round fight. He first, looked soft to his body. Was soft. Oh, he looked fucking. He, he looked like fucking. He looked, he's been eating marshmallows for the past <laughs> three months, bro. You know, like, like he never stepped in the gym. Oh no, like, oh, this guy's no. fighting. Is this a joke? Yeah, bro. Like <laughs> it, it looked like they picked him up off the sidewalk, and they were like, "Hey, bro, you wanna?" And he's fighting. A dude you wanna that, do a job? You know, a dude that comes in looking like Apollo on round. Yeah, on rock. This dude was Pedro. This dude was shredded, bro. Shredded, bro. everything was shredded. Yeah, and then he cut. So, right, look, check this out. Round one, he's knocking this Mexican dude out. Just, or no like, head not, movement, not knocking him out. Mexican no dude has movement. no head movement. He's just there and he's just pop, 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 taking head, hit after hit. And all of us are standing there like, bro, how's this guy gonna survive this? You know, bro. Second, third round, he comes in, beats the living shit out of this other dude who was actually good, and he wins the fight. He wins the dude, fight. He, I, got, I'm he got a great hook. He got two great hooks in. And the third round, I was like, oh my God, the, the, the moment just changed. Yeah. And then fucking second round. But what were we saying? That Mexican chin. Yeah, no, it's crazy, the Mexican, bro. These Mexicans are wild. Bro, that dude got his, he was getting his shit robbed, dude, bro. bro. He was bloody. I was, I was worried. I'm like, bro, this guy's going to have CTE Look, by the time this fight's over. Bloody, bro. Yeah. So, so we like to go to like uh, local fights 
and um, you know promote it. And Shout out San Jose, it. California. Yeah, exactly. So we go to all Northern California uh, local fights. We love doing that, and supporting, making some money, buy some drinks, keep the promotion going because you know we love supporting our, our local fighters, right? Yeah. So this dude, what, what I got that lesson from that dude. I was like, never stop coming forward because that yeah. dude was coming forward. Yeah, no. But that's that Mexican shit right there. He was a savage. That Mexican you know? dude was going forward. I'm, I'm convinced that like. They picked him up off like a Home Depot, and they were like, "Bro, I got a hundred bucks, bro. We need some guy just dropped off the car. We need to fill in a spot. Like, you want a hundred dollars?" He's like, "What other way?" You know, like, this, this guy had no head movement, bro, he, nothing, bro. Right? And he just looked going forward, and his hands were here, not even yeah. up here. They were yeah, here, bro. And just boom, boom, boom. And he won boom. the fight, oh dog. No, he <laughs> knocked him out. Face yeah. at it. Yeah, yeah bro. And then the second round, he caught him with a hook and stumbled him down. I was like, "Oh, that, that, that changed." Third yeah. round came out. The dude just came out. Hooks, hooks. Knock this shit over, bro. Face them. that, bro. Yeah. <laughs> was, but, what were we talking about? Learn how to fight. Yeah. Learn how to fight. Okay, this guy had no fucking head boom, but he got heart. Yeah, he got a, obviously, he got a left hook. Yeah. Dude, yeah, nasty. He learned hook. it somewhere at some point. Dude, savage. So, these are the type of skills that people need to have, right? But, you know, don't be scared of getting into any dojo, boxing ring, any boxing yeah. club. Something, get in there. Speak yeah. too. And go, go to a real one too. Don't go to like a fucking Tai Bo class and you're just doing the movements, but your trainer's not like popping you in the head every now and then. Like you need a trainer that's like going to hit you. you know? I'm, like, I'm going to say something different to that. I'm going to say, go ahead and start at the soft ones. Nah, if you never really, fuck If that. you never really got into any fights, never really done anything, go into baby steps. It's all right. See, he's hard. He's a mean I don't. Guy. No, I don't believe in that. I believe, like, you get in and you got to get says, hit. Says a Marine. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> well, I, know, I know guys, you know, we're, we're here to try to help some guys, right? Right, right, right. And right. so some things is like, you got to baby steps in. You, know, you can't really put in, okay, you can't send a motherfucker to AKA, American Kickboxing Academy, right from the get-go. Maybe you'd send them day one, and then from there you bring them back to the soft. I don't know. All right, uh, maybe maybe it's just, check this out. Let me, let me tell you how I learned how to swim. My uncle grabbed me. <laughs> my uncle, my dad. Hey, the rest of Latin America knew how to swim. Yeah. I love a pato. No. Yeah, yeah, bro. My uncle grabbed me <laughs> and he was like, come here. And I was I was always a small, skinny kid, bro. He threw me in the deep end of the pool. And I didn't, bro, I'm sitting there drinking my Caprice and he just grabbed me by, by my fucking shirt, throws me in the pool. And I'm like, oh shit. And I get up. <laughs> I don't know how old I was, bro. I was like eight years old. And I'm like trying to swim to the shore. I don't even know how to swim. I'm just kicking. I'm doing things. And I can see myself getting closer to the edge. And he pushes you. And then he pushes me. Bro, I thought I was going to... How gonna, do I know this? Dog, I, was, I, I thought I was going to drown, bro. I must have swallowed... That's all kids learn how to swim. I swallowed don't so die. much water, bro. Just don't die. Yeah. The, I want to end up in the ocean. Just don't die. I swallowed so much water, bro. Just don't die. Yeah. I wanna, and like, the, this is the thing. I couldn't cry because if I would have cried... <laughs> He would have whooped my ass, and then my cousins would have laughed at me. So like, at, like he, when he finally pulled me out, I, I swear to God, bro, I thought I was gonna drown. Like I was, I was like putting we, my hand up. We all have that memory. He pulls me out, and he's laughing. And he's just like, ah, get out of here. Like yeah. you know, like it was yeah, a joke. Yeah. And I was like, fuck, bro. But um, imagine if they recorded these type of moments, these traumatizing moments. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, the CPS would have been called, dude. <laughs> like, it would have been bad. Now, you know? now, I would have got sent to the now, fucking shelter. Now, back shelter, then, oh, that's last <laughs> kid, that's that kid. Nah, let him go. They, they yeah. can't die. No, but it taught me a lot. I ain't gonna lie. You know, it taught me a lot. And um, yeah, that's why I think, you know, just throw them in the deep end. You know, one of the things that we talk about, right, is learning lessons. Learning lessons. How to get better. How to improve your life. Because what we want, you know, we got our kind of our shit together, right? And life is only getting better for us. But a lot of people don't have that ability to listen to some advice. That's what we want for our public, our people, our young men. This is designed for young men. Look, if chick is, if chick's watching us. There to look at him, right? Obviously. But we're here to help support guys, talk some shit, make you laugh, give you some laugh experience, That's and hopefully you level up a little bit at a time. Peter, you got some videos for us? Two percent of the Earth's population before the year 1850, died before the age of five. Like, that's mind-blowing when you think about it. Like, most people had no shot. You had families where they'd have 13, 14 kids, and half of them would die. It was crazy. Like, like when, you, when you think about that. You think your life is hard. Your life is not that fucking hard. Think about if you did give up. Think about what you got. You got endless video games. You got endless things to watch on TV. You have endless pornography. How hard is it comp uh, for, for me to get sugar, salt, and fat today at McDonald's compared to my ancestors 50,000 years ago? I can literally eat processed sugar, $100 worth of processed sugar, till I fucking die. Because even when you give up, it's so much easier now to give up that for a, a man to get into sixth gear and then go to the gym every day, build a seven-figure scalable business, 
build the brand, learn to become charismatic, fix the way he dresses and fix his social media. It's so much harder to get out of that muck now because the muck is so easy and comfortable. Damn, this I, I think that proves my point that just throw them in the fucking, in, a, in where they train, where a trainer will hit them. Okay. It's not that big of a deal. Look, uh, okay. It's not, but some people are not gonna do it, right? What about the rest of this stuff? You know, you think about this, what's what's men's biggest hiccups? Most men, if you go to work, you're gonna make some money, okay? Right. Yeah. Where are men really suffering right now? Where are they suffering? Well, being women. social, yeah, with yeah. Women. Being, being social, social. Yeah, social too, you know. It's, it's well, I mean, it just comes down to that, being social, being, because a lot of guys say, oh, I'm an introvert. I hear that so much. It's like, mm -hmm. bullshit, bro, you're not an introvert. That doesn't exist. I mean, women can be introverts. I've been an introvert my whole life. I believe yeah. I was. I used but, to think I was an introvert uh -huh. until I put myself in a position where I had no choice but to be an extrovert. And then after a while, everyone told me. We went into sales, that's why. Well, no, it wasn't even before that. Like, okay. people would tell me, they'd be like, they'd be like, you're not an introvert. Because I would say it every now and then. And they'd be like, you're not a fucking introvert. You talk to everyone. And it, it, I, it didn't even hit me. Like, I had to hear it from someone else. Where I was like, oh, shit, that's crazy. I thought I was an introvert. Because I was, at one point in my life, somewhat shy, right? Like, when I first came uh -huh. into the adult world out of high school. Okay. I did well in high school. And then I came out into the adult world. And I was, like, shy. I was, like, everything. I was kind of, like... Because it was all new because you knew the environment in high school. And obviously, went something different. You know? Exactly. I, I'm with you on that because that, that's what I think. I was an introvert. Like, I, I always had to work on it. Yeah. Because I understood. I used to watch, like, you know, old school, right? Jim Rohn, Brian Tracy, Dennis Whaley, all these, all these cats. And they said, if you're an introvert, introvert work on being extrovert. Yeah. It's just work. Yeah. It's just work. Like, I'm, like, people, how do you know you're an introvert? Like, if you're alone, did you spend all day alone? Gym, run, read, work, all of them. Oh, you're I, happy? Oh, like, yeah. Do that. Do I, I that. do that all day. Oh, yeah, no, that's, that's me cool, all the time. Right? Now, we got to be social, you know? That's But but what I'm saying is a lot of guys make the excuse of being introverted for not being social or not having social skills not or not it. talking to um, women or people that are impressive, right? Because all that is work, right? Like, you coach men all the time to be, you know, dress good and be able to have communication skills and how to talk to them. You yeah. work on these guys all the time. Obviously, his dressing, he's not teaching me how to dress, of course. But, you know, but I worked on it. You're good. You don't need it. <laughs> but yeah. in, in, in pedal, like, like, look at all this. I had to work on all this. These are these are books that I have to work on. Yeah. But everything is work. Whatever it is, everything is work. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, jump on the next clip. What's the next one? Uh, go down. Go down. No, not that one. Not that one. Not that one. That motherfucker right there. No, not that one. Oh, that's a brother, yeah. man. Yeah, we got to talk about that. What does the brother got to say? He, uh, he talked, I saw that one. That one's so bad. Answer, you claim you spent five years in prison for failing to pay child support for the defendant, Ms. Sears' son, Dylan. That's right. Mr. Manser, you are not oh, God. his father. Oh, damn, bro. Oh, man. <laughs> that hurts my soul, bro. Look at his face. But he says, oh, God, it's like, yes, damn, bro. You know and this broad, no, it's in this color, what it is. This fucking cunt knows. No, bro, that's a succubus. That's a succubus, bro. That's a human succubus. That's what I'm saying. A lot of women, they are, and it's funny, because I was actually having a conversation with, uh, What's this, a succubus? A succubus is like a, a fucking something that sucks something like a, it's like a leech. You know, it's like a soul sucking entity. I would, I, I would argue most women, a certain age bracket to a certain age bracket, are succubates. Yes, and this is I was I was talking to this girl. I used the to ones that we call her cooked. Yeah, these age brackets. We'll tell you later what the age bracket is. There's certain age bracket these broads are cooked. They're done. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. I keep cutting you up. No, no, you're good. So I tried to tell her. I was explaining. We I don't know how we got in this conversation, but I'm explaining. You know, dynamics to her, and I'm telling her like, yeah, I mean, women are resource extractors like that's what you do but those have extract resources whether it's time it's money it's attention like you're extracting a resource from me men are okay We're, with that that's fine yes, yeah but, like that. but but if we love it actually we, we'll call it what it is mm -hmm. but they won't they they'll and and what's crazy is like in this situation this bitch is extracting resources she put this guy in jail for i don't know what reason like if you know who the child father support, is because was, he wasn't paying child support and this brought new that the fault that that man was not the bro. father, and she knew who the biological father was, that's and that's what I'm crazy. saying. You see that poor kid? What do you think of that poor kid? Play that video again. Look at his fucking face, bro. That he's poor fucking kid. I mean, yo, that guy, that kid is right out back. there poisoning squirrels and shit. Like he's a you future. You claim you spent five years in prison for failing to pay. 
pay child support for the defendant, Ms. Sears' son, Dylan. Right. Mr. Manser, you are not. Oh, God. Damn, bro. That moment right there sucks. Why are you here in prison? He's like, look at that kid. Pause right there, bro. Look at that fucking kid right there. Look at that fucking Yo, kid. Pause on his fucking face. Look at his fucking eyes. What do you Yo, think about that? I got some shit. That, that dude, look, look, check this out. That dude has like leather boots with a leather overcoat and a fucking AK-47 <laughs> in his closet. And he's just waiting for the day that he <laughs> fucking runs out of Xanax where he's going to go and, and shoot up the fucking local elementary school. Till That's then, all I'm saying, bro. Till then, that motherfucker's shooting squirrels. Yeah, bro. He, him up. He's definitely Carving shooting squirrels, bro. He's fucking, when he, when he, when a spider goes into his room, he'll catch it and he'll pick off the legs one by man. one, bro. But check this yeah, out. Bro. Look at the poison in that poor man's soul, that poor boy that's about to be a man. Probably the man is 17, maybe 18 years old, 67 or 18 years old, right? Look at what that woman, his mother, his protector, his supposedly protector did to that poor kid. Bro, the whole yeah. time he thinks his father is in prison. The whole time this young man thinks his father is in prison, maybe. But maybe his mom told him the truth and said, no, actually, your real biological father is, is this man, and I'm still banging him. Because yeah, he knows yeah. who he is. That's so crazy. either way, think about his what he's thinking right now. Okay, His life is, yeah, yeah, yeah. My his, mom, his reality is fucking what, warped, boy. What, what, do, what do women think of men? Yeah. If this is the woman that is guiding him, right? and this is the example, I fucked your dad that raised her for 12 years, 10 years, whatever it was, that I sent him to prison because he didn't want to give me money. Yeah. But hey, don't worry, don't worry, son. Your real dad is here, and I'm still fucking him. But fuck this dude that I sent to prison because he didn't want to give me more money that oh, wasn't even mine. Damn. I didn't even work for it, and the fucking someone else just did me, and fucking he's got to pay for it. And now he's paid five years in prison, bro. Five years in prison. Just imagine this: if yeah, you went into dude. prison in 2017 and came out 2022, it's a whole new world. Yeah. How yeah. do you even adapt to that? Yeah. No, that, that is crazy. It's a completely new whole new world. Like, damn. The rules have changed. Women have changed. Everything has changed. The women that raised us do not exist anymore. Yeah. No, this, there's a generation that's cooked. We got to go for the younger ones. Because they're watching these older women. Not that I mean seven, that much older. You want to say the age now or what? These women that are cooked? Between oh, what my, age and what age? Oh, man, over 25, I'd say. I would say 25, 26, 25, yeah. 26, maybe 27, to about 45. That generation right there... I believe they're cooked, bro. They're cooked. Yeah. But the, what's the younger generation? The young, and we're going to repeat this over and over and over again because we want you to get this. And if you're new to the podcast, we're going to repeat it over. We want you to get it. Sometimes we need to hear this repeated over and over again. So what are the younger women doing that are watching these women that are career women working 50, 60 hours a week? With no families. No families. Yo, you want to hear, hear a crazy Throwing stat? the most beautiful thing. Yeah, at all kinds of women, at all kinds of men, fucking all types of dudes. And these young, shit. young girls are like, I don't want that life. They're liberated, like, oh, I'm liberated. I get to fuck any guy, bitch. You're a whore, and I get you're to fuck used. you, and I don't have to talk to you again. I love sluts. I'm just putting it out there. If you're a slut, I love you, and I thank you for your service because I probably smashed. But I don't respect you. I wouldn't wife Make you. Make America great again. I wouldn't. I wouldn't bring you home to my mom. And, and I'm also thankful if any of my exes are watching. I've had very high quality relationships with all the women that I had. But for the most part, like I ran through a bunch of bitches and a lot of them, like they were liberated. And I like they think that they're being like they think they're taking advantage of me. But it's like, bitch, I'm going inside of you. Correct. Like, I stuck my dick in you. Like in, there is no scenario in that where I fuck you and I leave you that you win. I mean, if you think you win, cool. Good for you. But you I'm bought still, him a couple of drinks, bro. I got the satisfaction. You bought him a couple of drinks. Maybe sometimes. Sometimes I didn't even have to do that. I didn't have to do. I'll tell you. you know? I'll give you guys a game later. Why well, I didn't pay nothing, bro. Nothing. I, this we got a lot to talk about in these fucking years to come. Just a dinner, and give it up. Why? You're so you were, you were so much more than that. Yeah. Because, so because they're bored. Oh, I haven't had sex in over I'm two free. months. I can do what guys do. I'm free. The yeah, feminism shit. It's crazy. Feminism is the killer of families, you know? Yeah. All right. So, we'll continue this on next on the next episode. Um, subscribe, like the video. Share it. Talk some shit in the comments. And we'll respond. Yeah. You talk some shit, we'll talk some shit too. <laughs> exactly. Have some questions, hit us up.